people that uh, sign up for this program get to learn the basic techniques for digging up dinosaur bones, techniques that really haven't changed in over a century. Um, they also get to, most of them will get to uncover something that's never been seen by anyone before. And uh, we always go to a microvertebrate locality where we're looking at teeny tiny fossils from vertebrates and everyone gets a chance at finding something there for sure. So we find gar scales, turtle bones, crocodile bones, and lots of teeth. They vary in size a whole lot. Some of them are really, really small, almost microscopic, but it has a particular texture and color and it's really dense. Teeth are really, really dense. Uh, this is this is poop, fossilized poop. By the end of the day, um, people that participate uh, in this program have a better awareness of of the importance of preserving the fossil resource. And what they find, and how they what they have to do to get it out of the ground and put on display. Uh, it's amazing. They they get to do the real thing, and that's what it really comes down to. It, it's not, we're not throwing fake bones in a sandbox here. They're really here in the ground and people get to do the real work. The Bone Bed 30 program is one of those golden opportunities that people have to live out a lifelong dream. And for the people that come to this program, it's that dream that I think many of us have had of working with real paleontologists in an authentic dinosaur dig and having that potential to discover a fossil that no other human eyes have ever looked at. Oh, so far it's been fantastic. It's been everything I expected it would be. We've walked through and looked for dinosaur bones. It's absolute fun. Yeah, yeah. Even it's hot. It's okay. I really liked it, yeah. I've done a similar program years ago as a kid. And then, so this is more in depth and more based on the science. So. Actually finding something. You know, because I actually have found a bone right now about that size that I'm working on. There are big bones and there's little bones and then she hauls out and there's little itty bitty teeth. You know, only this big is. I don't know how they find them, you know. And Marie can identify just about anything from where on the body of that this particular bone is and what it comes from and things like that. It's uh, must be a lot of training that she's done that I ain't gonna do. <laughs> so this is a really good example of the kind of bone that we might find here at the bone bed. Uh, it's a centrum, so it's a big bony part of a uh, ceratopsian vertebra. Um, so right here in this divot, this is where the spinal cord would have run and you would have had the uh, neural arch right up here and the transverse processes right here onto which would articulate the ribs. Thank <laughs> you.